I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS Morning Update on the situation in Israel. U.S. President Joe Biden addressed the nation from the Oval Office last night on Israel shortly after his return to Washington after his solidarity visit to the Jewish state. The president told the American people we are facing an inflection point in history. He spoke of the Israeli trip, meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and meeting, he said, with Israelis who had personally lived through horrific horror of the attack by Hamas on the 7th of October. Biden reiterated that every effort was being made to safely return hostages being held in Gaza, and also spoke of the ongoing war in Ukraine, and shared why he said making sure Israel and Ukraine succeed is vital for America's national security. Biden said he was going to send to Congress an urgent budget request to fund America's national security needs to support our critical partners, including Israel and Ukraine. Calling the package for Israel an unprecedented commitment to Israel's security that will sharpen Israel's qualitative military edge. And that the overall security package is he said, a smart investment that's going to pay dividends for American security for generations. Help us keep American troops out of harm's way. Help us build a world that is safer, more peaceful, and more prosperous for our children and grandchildren. Meanwhile, rockets continue to be fired today from Gaza at southern Israel. Rockets also fired at northern Israel. The IDF saying that Israeli troops also came under fire from the Lebanese border and returned fire, and that an IDF aircraft operating in the area took out three Hezbollah terrorists identified in the area of Israel's border fence. Overnight last night, the IDF continued its airstrikes on Gaza, saying Israeli fighter jets attacked over a hundred operational terror targets in Gaza and eliminated a terrorist who was in the naval force of the terrorist organization Hamas, and that the terrorist took part in the murderous terrorist operations in the Gaza Strip. The Times of Israel reports that Israel's Defense Minister Yoav Gallant took part in a Knesset Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee meeting in Tel Aviv today, where he laid out Israel's plans and objectives in Gaza, which he said include eliminating Hamas, destroying its military and governmental capabilities, and the creation of a new security regime in the Gaza Strip. We will have more for you on these stories and continue our coverage on the JBS News Update tonight.